All right, guys, welcome. We've got a special episode for you. Today, I have the Pegasus. It's a Pegasus, but a cat, so obviously about uh, 3.4 times cuter. So you see me very quickly. I've sped this painting up um, immensely to you know save on time, make it more interesting to watch. But you see me doing just some, again, same process as always, a bunch of line art, go into grayscale mode, get the initial sketch in, now I drop the color layer. You see me do like an orange gradient where the head is a little bit darker and then the feet get lighter. That's because I want the focal point to stay around the face. And uh, now I'm going in with a new layer and this time it's no longer a color layer, it's just a normal layer and I'm picking certain colors that I want, um, whether that be using the color picker or just picking colors straight from the color palette. Uh, now I'm adjusting the wings. I'm going to play around with the wings a bit. It was. It was a little bit of a, a challenge, I would say, to to get them looking, you know, how I like. So you'll see me sort of cutting and pasting, um, doing one wing at a time, and uh, you know that that's one way you could uh, you could do it and just save, you know, on initial, I don't know, construction. Um, so now I'm toggling the painting um, horizontally. I'm making it like I'm flipping it so that I can notice any mistakes that I have made. So you see me doing that a couple of times. I probably should be doing it more often, but uh, I guess since this is more of a uh, t-shirt design and I'm not really worried about the background, uh, just having the character, you know, flipping it a couple of times was enough for me to kind of um, get a good look at it. So now you see me dropping in some darker colors on the wings. I didn't like it, so I undid it. Uh, doing some of the fur around the edges, uh, fixing the ear. The painting is a little bit um, larger than this, but the only thing you're missing out on is some empty space above the cat and below him. So I'm not really going to show it. Instead, I'm going to crop out the black edges since it's a square ratio and uh, we have, you know, more of a standard. So that's what I did here. Um, it's a little bit zoomed in, but, you know, you can pretty much still see everything. All right, doing some more of the the edges of the fur. The wings are still not done. I'm gonna have to redraw the edges of the the cat itself after adjusting the wings. So you see me experimenting trying out different designs for the wing and I, I went for like a butterfly look at one point. Uh, decided against it and uh, now I'm redoing all of the feathers. I redrew it with the darker line, uh, dropped in some highlights for the outside uh, I kept the inside a little bit dark, you know, to sort of indicate that uh, less light is being, um, I don't know, is reaching that area. So that's why it's a little darker. Now you see me do the edges, redo the the fur edge in front of the wing. And uh, I also cut out the other wing on the other side, the right hand side. For the cat, it would be his left wing. And I duplicated the wing on the left and dropped it on a separate layer underneath the cat on the right side. So I can I can adjust it um, a little bit more if I so choose uh, in the future. And I think you might even see me do that. So here I'm just going in and doing, oh, I'm actually almost done. I'm doing the inside of the, the wings. And then I'm going in with an eraser and I'm softening up the edges so that the edges look a little bit more fluffy. And the cat is almost done. I dropped in some uh, some drop shadow, and here's a zoomed in look. I did a little bit of color correcting and some uh, simple gradient background, and here we have it, the Pogasus. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.